Okay, prior to doing anything, it uh, looks like we need to charge it up. Uh, I plugged the USB cable, micro USB cable with a USB charger to the wall. And you can see that I have a red light on the corner. Uh, I'm assuming it's like most uh, USB uh, devices with a battery in them that they will actually, the light will either turn off or change state when the battery is full. Now I'm going to do the pairing uh, of this NFC Bluetooth H-266 uh, receiver to the Samsung uh, Galaxy S4 which has NFC uh, already enabled. So let's go back one here. There's my settings. And you'll see NFC is enabled. Now, I was wondering where the on and off switch for this uh, cube is, the uh, Bluetooth cube. Uh, actually, the on and off switch is the earphone jack. When you plug it in, it actually turns on. And for the life of me, I can't get it to pair automatically through NFC. I've tapped them, I've you know, done all that with them, and uh, uh, it just doesn't seem to matter. It doesn't go. You know, unless I'm missing it, I'm doing something wrong. Uh, I've got all my NFC settings set up and it doesn't prop me or anything so I'm not sure how much near uh, field communication to that you need to be but regardless you know NFC is not working for me maybe it'll work for you but it doesn't really matter because you go to back to settings sorry and uh, let's go back one here darn uh, Bluetooth and you'll see that it's there it's waiting so I'm just going to unpair it unpair I'm wondering if uh, if I need this visible to other devices for this to happen uh, automatically here nope doesn't appear to be happening so let's go here and then you know it automatically finds it and then you just hit pairing and it's connected now you can't make a phone cannot make a phone call through this it does not have a microphone. It will allow you to receive a, a phone call and you can hear it, but you won't be able to speak back to the person on the other side. So uh, it's not really recommended. I've got the earphones hooked up to this and audio quality on the earphones is uh, to say the least tinny. Uh, you, he you hear all the uh, high treble sounds, the cymbals, but the bass is really, really muted. You know, if you're going to use it like that with as an with an earphone jack, I guess it'd be okay for talk radio and audio and uh, audio books and stuff like that, where you don't really need the lower end. But for music, it's not that great with a set of earphones. That I know, but that's earphones. This is not what this is meant for. If you hook this thing up to a receiver, like uh, say your car or my in my case my stereo, I get really nice sound out of it. Yes, I got to boost the bass to get the nice bass out of it, but I will get nice bass out of it while boosting the bass uh, range. So, I mean, as an audio receiver, it works great. Now, the other thing about this is it, it has must have a really nice antenna on it because you do get uh, the, the claimed 30 feet range. Even with walls in between, I haven't had any problem. I actually got higher than 30 feet. I went out in the backyard and uh, my cell phone was on the, you know, in the front door of my house, which is an easy 40 feet. And I was still able to receive, uh, listen to my music on it. Now, you know, it's going to get scratchy now and then, you know, but hey, I got 40 feet before it actually cut off. So pretty good uh, uh, reception qualities on this little cube. So I'm impressed by that. I'm not impressed by the fact that you know, the near field, near field communication isn't working, either that or I just don't know how to use it. But as far as I know, all I, you know, from what I've been told, all I needed to do is just come near it and it should automatically connect. But once you pair it, it doesn't matter because it'll pair automatically every time. So there it is paired. Uh, I, I paired it with my uh, tablet too and it worked perfectly with that as well and got me the same range. So uh, I'm really impressed with that uh, unit for as, as far as range goes. As far as audio quality goes, it's the same as all my other Bluetooth devices that I have, all well, my other Bluetooth receiver. You know, it's it's really no good to plug a set of earphones in unless you're going to be listening to audiobooks or talk radio or something where the bass isn't all that important. Uh, but if you plug it into an amp or a, a uh, you know a car audio, then you can always boost the bass on that and it sounds great at that point too. Next, uh, I'm going to do a full test on this. I'll just leave the earphones plugged in a set of earphones plugged in and I'm going to uh, let it play uh, for the full battery charge. So uh, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to charge it fully and then I'm going to uh, hook it up to my tablet and let it play for however long it takes for the uh, power to go out to see how long the battery actually lasts at uh, full volume. 
Okay, I have the H266 fully charged, the light is off. And, oh by the way, it will play uh, with the uh, charge cord plugged in, so if you want to uh, you know, connect it permanently to your stereo, just put the charge cord in and leave it in. And then you can pair to it and play forever. But uh, here we're going to just test how much, how long it will play uh, the music with the internal battery only. And as you can see there it's flashing, so let's connect it here on my little... Okay, we're connected. Uh, next I'm just going to play some tunes and uh, let it go. I'll, I'll put uh, the timer on here so you can see how long it takes to uh, have the blue light turn off, which will indicate that the, the player is no longer playing. My overall impression on the Vixing uh, NFC enabled uh, H-266 uh, receiver, Bluetooth receiver, uh, it's been pretty good. Uh, I, I could not get NFC to work with my phone, maybe it's my phone, I have no idea. But it doesn't matter because it worked just fine as a Bluetooth device. Now, uh, overall, uh, I also got four and a half, sorry, almost four and a half hours of continuous play on battery mode which is pretty good a pretty good long function so if you were going to use this as a portable Bluetooth uh, receiver uh, where you don't have any power well you get four hours out of it easy no problem at all full blast so probably would go uh, longer at less volume it's uh, still an excellent battery performance audio quality is, is as good as the uh, uh, PT810 uh, here over here the Vixing um, you know it's no better it's no worse uh, its range is way better than this thing. I would say the range is double what the uh, PTA-10 is, so I don't know why that is, but it definitely has better Bluetooth uh, uh, radio range than the uh, A-10. Uh, as well, uh, the size is nice and small, so it's good as a portable device. Uh, I like the fact that you can just charge it up with a micro USB uh, cord, which I have for my phone, so it, it actually fits uh, the same thing. Uh, so yeah, I don't need to use any special charger for it and it can be left uh, plugged in permanently so you can use it just like you would the A10 uh, by plugging a, a, a charge cord into it and your uh, uh, jack into it and letting it run you know 24-7. Now my cons are, well I'm one of my pet peeves, no on and off switch but the on and off switch is really your earphone jack, it's triggered by the earphone. Uh, the, the bass response on the earphones is pretty poor uh, but you know, again, that's Bluetooth for you on on these kinds of devices. Uh, if when I re uh, pair it with my car or my uh, stereo receiver, uh, and I, I just crank the bass, and it sounds great. So no real big complaint there. My my other uh, fault or pro problem with this uh, actually is that uh, the NFC didn't work. So not you know no big deal because it paired with Bluetooth on everything I had. So. Maybe I'm not doing it right, maybe my phone's not compatible with it, but the NFC did not work for me. Again, not a big deal for me. I just go into the Bluetooth settings and, uh, you know, pair it that way. It works just fine. All right, so other than that, uh, I would say it's a great little device. And, uh, you know, at uh, I think I paid $10 for it. You can't beat it. You know, it's, it's a great Bluetooth uh, receiver. If, uh, you know, if you can live with its limitations of the, with the earphones and... Uh, you know, NFC may or may not work for you. Um, it's great. Thanks. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And, uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.